Okay, welcome to part two uh, of the walking tour from uh, along the Cowlack Main Strip. So, um, part one concluded at the Leaf, the Sands, which is opposite where I am now. And we will start on the other side of the road, walking down at the Sunshine Inn Resort, which I have stayed at a couple of times. Uh, basic accommodation with a lovely pool. It's slightly offset the main road. Okay, laundry. As I was saying on part one, laundry is really good value to get done here. If I'm taking clothes home, I'll get them washed here before I go home. It's cheaper than actually washing them at home. Just seal them all for you and plastic in like air vacuum plastic bags. So you're packing it, it's nice and easy. Okay. Tish and Florin. Uh Thai German place. Been here. Eaten here, stayed here. Food's at a slight premium, I think, but always been good, never a complaint. We have the cannabis here as well now. This is just passing Sea Dragon Dive Centre. This is my go to dive centre when I'm in, uh, I'm in Thailand. Liverboards, diving day trips. Absolutely excellent company and really, really good value. If I've eaten at a restaurant or I can point out anywhere of interest, I will do. Otherwise, I'll just walk past, just giving you a, an idea of what to expect when you come and visit. Okay, I'm just going to walk on the road. These steps are big. Sorry for information and bike rental here. Yeah, again, I've no idea about the bikes here. I've never hired one, so. Massages. First week in June at the moment. And today's weather is blisteringly hot and blue skies. Another bank. I think there's three main banks here now. Two on the other side of the road and one here. So if you want to get money out, use an ATM. I tend to trust the bank rather than the, uh, the little ones that are just thrown there. Down the side of a bar or down the side of a side street. Okay, this is the cheapest I've seen Thai massages, 250. Morning. 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 Yeah, that's definitely the cheapest uh, Thai massage I've seen in Kowalak. But it being off season. A lot of places are either shut down or being renovated. A lot of the hotels are doing work at the moment. Local taxi. I've eaten here, lovely food. Yeah, I'll just leave you cheaper. Washing. 50 baht for one kilo.
I was showing you in part one, the 7-Elevens do these fantastic iced coffees. They also cut warm food here as well. They have a, a fridge cabinet with all food in and they warm it all up for you. It's like hot dogs and some rice dishes. I was watching them cooking omelettes a couple of days ago. They tend to spend more time cooking and making coffees than to do serving people sometimes. Ah, another good value massage place from 250 as well. There we go. Looks like this is to be 50 baht cheaper on this side of the street. Barbecue. And just try to give you an idea what's available. Morning. Hello, morning. These gentlemen will definitely make you a suit. Artwork. I'm trying desperately not to get my fingers in front of the lens. The lens is quite wide on this camera, I keep putting my hand in front. Morning! The pharmacies here are very good, they don't rip you off. Uh, all seem to charge about the same. Cannabis is now fully legalised here, so you can pop in, get yourself a cookie, gummy, or whatever. Paraphernalia, I don't do it myself, but just to give you an idea. Morning! <laughs> what? What's choice? Oh, I'm just walking past the videoing. I'm good, thank you very much. So friendly. These curbs are huge. Okay, monkey bar. This is what you call a great night out and it's open. Oh, had a couple of really good nights here. So there you go. This is the lively place to go. Monkey bar closed now. Don't know whether it's closed for the season or just closed because it's uh, the morning. Yet again, loads of motorbikes to hire again. Behind a lot of these shops there will be uh, accommodation as well. So, back into the road, just opposite there where the supermarket is. That's the road down to the beach. So just to give you a perspective of where you are, and that's where the main set of traffic lights is in the centre. So that's the beach road.
if I'm passing through Colac to go scuba diving, I tend to just get in one night's accommodation before I arrive and maybe one night or two nights accommodation after I leave. So I don't always book into a nice posh hotel, I tend to book into kind of like somewhere really reasonable. Now the prices this time here off season are exceptionally, exceptionally cheap. You can stay in a really, really nice hotel for around about 25 English pounds, 30 English pounds. And in high season, you can pretty much double, triple, quadruple that. So if I'm staying just for maybe one night or two night, I'll just book into uh, a small hotel just to get my head down before we go diving and then just to recover after we get off the boat before moving on to other areas. Thai boxing, there are a few arenas here. Uh, it's a good night out. I went last time I came. Morning! Yeah, uh, I think the, the Thai, Thai boxing is located more around the uh, night market area further up. Give you an idea of the kind of food that's on offer. It's just, uh, just a random restaurant I've picked out, black pepper. Hello, just having a look at your menu. Plenty of options. Pizzas, pastas, steaks, grilled, and then traditional Thai noodle stuff. All very reasonably priced. Vegan, egg, stir fry. Okay, I'll leave it there. Fried fish is one of my favorite. Thank you very much. Steak in Thailand isn't the best, by the way. I won't go to a Thai restaurant and order a steak. It's going to be a little bit chewy. If I'm ordering meat and a food, I tend to go for chicken. Can't really go wrong with it. Oh, I like minced, minced beef or minced pork. I had duck the other day and it was, um, well, like rubber. I think I'll stick with my chicken. I've been in here. Had a few beers in here. Lovely food as well. Now you are opposite here, the McDonald's again. So just to give you perspective as you're walking down.
more weed shops, tattoos, tailors. Buses do run through here, so if you want to catch a local bus, a lot of the night buses run through here as well. I need to stop at Cowlack Central Mark uh, 7 Eleven there, or we tend to stop at the night market further up. In high season, there's a little old lady who cooks the most amazing spicy dishes here where all the uh, fake green grass is. She's not here now, and uh, probably gone home for low season, but she does amazing food. She can't speak a word of any other language apart from Thai, but her food is absolutely outstanding. Uh, also stayed at a place called Banana Bungalows which is just up this road to the right and down here you get some really good deals on your on your laundry Oops, sorry Nearly got run over The only thing I find is when you're staying away from a beachfront type hotel it can be stifling especially in high season there's no breeze even when you're in the pool it's like sitting in a, a pan of boiling water. So you've really got to find somewhere with good air conditioning. Otherwise you just feel ill. Looks nice, never been in, but it does look nice. More weed places. Kind of like everywhere now in Thailand. Strangely enough, back in the UK, everywhere just smells of weed. Everywhere you go, it just stinks. But in Thailand, you can hardly smell it. Even though it's available everywhere. I think people are quite respectful and just smoke in their own rooms or just away from people. Okay, we're nearly coming to the end of it now. This is not far away from where I started the first part of the video on the other side of the, the main street. There's a big hotel at the corner, which is where I will conclude the video. But if you do walk further on, there's a nice English place. Let the traffic go. Yeah, if you carry on walking up this hill here, just to the left, there's a, an English guy called, and he's got a place called Walkers, and they do some lovely food there. Uh, a lot of people tend to rave about it. I've been there a few times myself. It's well worth a visit. Nice guy, and his wife does all the cooking. So, it's a recommendation for you. Oh, the cucumber opposite here, it's currently closed. Uh, that does quite nice food as well. Had lunch here. It's a little bit on the pricey side, not too pricey, but I will be honest, I have had better elsewhere for less. But even staying though, even saying that, it's been uh, it's been good. I think you pay a little bit of a premium for the actual uh, dining area. I think it's part on side of the hotel. So I think you can see where it says walkers, walkers in there on the side of a building. The actual bar is just a little bit further up. It's only a small place, but like I say, personally, I think it's worth a visit.
So on this side of the road, I think this is the last supermarket. Quite a nice one, it's got quite some European style foods. And, oh, I'll just walk you to a little bar actually. Um, this is where I started part one of the walking tour, uh, Van Kaulach. I'll just walk you down a little bit further. It's a great bar I go to here in the evenings and yeah, to have like a karaoke style singer on. I uh, don't know what time they close, but it is late. And it's shut at the moment. This place here. Yeah, they've got a, a, gazette, a guy, he plays loads of uh, music and he's got a, like a kazoo type thing. Okay, if you do like this kind of content, please do like and subscribe. I'll conclude the video here. Thanks for watching. So this is part two of the walking tour and I hope you enjoyed. Okay, thank you.